Let's get geeked. live action animation and today i'm here with my girl nerdy amber from the chemical x podcast what's up nerdy amber what's up girl <laughs> i'm glad you came on with me today um i wanted to basically talk about top five fan crazes this year i mean fan crazes have gone kind of through the roof this year uh you know with Marvel Cinematic Universe. DC's got their Cinematic Universe going this year. You know, you got your Pokemon Go. So basically, I want to talk about the top five fan crazes. We're going to start with Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. And oh we could God. go on and on and on you know, <laughs> about fan crazes. But right now, Pokemon <laughs> Go, I think it's, I think this bug has bitten everybody. Non-Pokemon Go fans to fans yeah. to everybody. I don't play Pokemon Go for that reason like i know that i will have a severe problem with pokemon go and i already have a lazy gene in my system so i try not to tap it as much as i possibly can so well I'm on the contrary playing pokemon go will kind of um be anti-lazy because a lot of the go part insists that you actually go you have to get your ass up you want that egg to hatch you need to walk for that motherfucker or else you're not gonna hatch your egg point People blank period are, are walking off cliffs like i don't need that kind of get up and go you know i'm not trying to get up and go die i'm trying to get up and like be productive i like, mean <laughs> this is very possible i mean they they have to put all of these notifications and like disclaimers like please don't drive while you're playing pokemon no shit everyone should know this why are people trying to kill themselves clearly, like clearly nobody's paying attention. people are walking in people people are walking into oncoming traffic like, like that caterpie is not worth your life bro let me tell you something put the phone down please because <laughs> you your mama ain't got like 16 grand to put you under six feet under behind a dollar 99 app i'm just saying like get your life together and it's a pokeballs get it yes together. i mean this thing has you get i i get up on a regular like it'll be like midnight and i'm like oh shit i'm out of pokeballs i guess i, <laughs> I guess i need damn do i need to wait till in the morning nah i'm about to go right now my ass walking a block right. up to go to the damn poke stop and then once you get there and that shit don't give you no pokeballs you're mad as fuck <laughs> and i'm just like see i don't need this type of stress in my life right now at all like i don't need this but why like, are we crazy now, over this if harry potter go Whenever that comes hey. out, it might be a bit of a problem. Yeah. I'm going to be Avada Kedavra in MFs all day. Like, Avada Kedavra. Like, you die right now. Like, right. I'm not or get get in a quick game of Quidditch. Let's let's go okay, hop, hop at this. Go. It'll be like the Poke Gems. <laughs> Instead of a gym, it'll be like this arena where you can, <laughs> where you can play Quidditch. Send me a Polyjuice. I'm gonna sit down and I'm play my hair part of go. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you know they have another one that's similar to this, except for it is a first person shooter. I think it's called Father.io. I haven't jumped on it yet, but see, that's even worse because now I'm gonna be literally killing people in the street. Like this, this is madness. We it, it has to stop somewhere. It has to stop. Please, please stop. <laughs> people need like a regular life. Just we need to stop. just live in general. Like, we shouldn't have to stare at our phones so hard to the point where we're walking into Seriously. oncoming traffic. Like, if I don't have my phone to go take a shit, then it's in, like an issue. It's a serious issue because it's like, what am I gonna do? And it's a grab a book, grab no. a book or a magazine. No, and go I'm sitting Pikachu. here on the toilet catching a Pikachu. I do not need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not reading at this point. I'm in the heat of battle. You're in the heat of battle and you're relieving yourself. What's a better feeling? There, there is no better feeling. <laughs> Are you okay? Did you fall? Are you alright? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All right, she's back. She's okay, back. So let's move on because we What's can talk about next this all with day. these crazy nerd crazes. <laughs> but um, next, I want to talk about the comic book cinematic universes that are going on right now. Like that is a huge fan craze right now. 
with DC and Marvel doing their thing, um, I mean, we've got movies for the next, what, four or five years, possibly more, Definitely. depending on what they want. If they take a break, that's cool, because I think we all are going to need to detox after 10 15 years I mean, of I comic no book end films. In sight. I see no end. I feel like every year they're going to tack on another 10 movies and this list is just going to get longer and longer. <laughs> and we're going to be in superhero comic book purgatory for the next 100 years until someone wakes the fuck up and makes something different. Damn but it. the problem is I'm going to be in those theaters like every time. <laughs> <laughs> my coins that I don't have because I have to see what R2-D2 is going to do in this episode of Star Wars. Like, I just need to know. Like, Darth Vader is going to be in Star He's Wars Rogue One. Like, I, 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 I gotta pay to see that. I'm sorry. I have to pay to see that. It only comes, like, every ten years. I, I understand the reboot stuff. I understand the nostalgia, but there at least needs to be like a 10 year to 15 year gap. Like something, I forget, I can't even think of what movie it was, but it literally came out like two years ago. And then they're like, we're rebooting it. Stop throwing a reboot at the beginning of your shit. That shit came out like last year. Spider-Man. I mean like. Yeah. But it's one of those things. I guess I give Spider-Man a pass because he's coming from a different movie studio. Like. We're just so happy that we get them back that we don't even care that literally six months ago, you know, Amazing Spider-Man 2 was out. You know what I mean? Right. Like, in certain instances, okay. But, like, they are literally rebooting movies like a mother would change a baby diaper. Like, it really is, like... Every two hours, you guys, we have to change this diaper. Come on! (laughs) Gotta keep it fresh. Gotta keep it clean and dry. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> let's add some baby powder for the chafeness of our fans from buying the chafeness of their wallet from buying all, all the tickets to this there, movie at that butt pace and we're ready to go a little aquaphor in the crease you know what i'm saying let's just it's make little, it smooth for them make it as easy as possible for hey, them just so i don't get any sores from sitting so much for all these movies but I do, I, you know, I say all that, we poke fun, but it really has been a great ride to have with these movies, you know, like Marvel's putting out really good quality stories and, and characters and characters that nobody even really knew about. I mean, you know, I would consider myself an everyday nerd. Like, I'm not completely oblivious and I'm not like... Delve del- into it. You're the casual yes. nerd. We're yeah, the casual I'm nerd. nerd. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fangirl, but I, you know love my you delve into it yeah exactly so i think they're putting out really good quality i mean you know i didn't know anything about who the guardians of the galaxy were i mean i knew of ant-man but i didn't know anything about ant-man and i mean now i love ant-man i mean hey (laughs) i like the shirt i like it you know, they're making me love these characters, you know, and DC, they're having their problems, but I will say it's very good to finally see icons on the screen. We've been waiting for it for so long, I think, and to finally get those characters, whether we agree or disagree with the way they're telling their stories, I think we should all, as fans and as, you know, kids again, be excited right. to say that I can say, yo, I am I saw Wonder Woman. You know what I'm saying? I know, like, I, and this is like the first time they're bringing it. Even with Suicide Squad, the first appearance on the big screen of Harley Quinn. Um, it was definitely amazing. And whether you're Marvel or DC, whatever universe you choose, whether you like them both or like one or the other, um, they're still doing a good job of getting this content out and getting these movies yeah. out. Whether you like them or whether you don't, I mean, they're still here on the big screen. They're memorialized at this point. They're no longer just in, in on paper. So um, I love it. And as far as Marvel, they do a good job of bringing all their characters and their universe together on yeah. one screen. Yeah. It's seamless the way they handle that. So yeah. um, I think DC is trying to move a little bit more towards that with, with the way Suicide Squad is. I hope they kind of stay on this this tone just and 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 not necessarily the tone because you can change the tone but at least this line is working like i finally felt like i was watching a comic book 
film. Yeah. And, you know, that wasn't Marvel. Right? Like right. I wasn't sitting there like, oh, this they're 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 blocking Marvel. Like I was like, Oh, okay, D C Suicide Squad, I bought into it. Mm-hmm. You know. Whereas... It wasn't too critical. It wasn't too much Yeah. Um, everything needs to be explained. It was just, you know, good fun and it was right. a comic book film. It was explained when it needed to be explained, just like Deadpool. It was like Deadpool started you right in the middle of action, then they explained some stuff, then they went back to action. So I like that kind of uh, way of thinking when it's coming to these movies. Mm-hmm. Um, so up next, I want to talk about, um, well, one of my personal favorites. I know it's one of your personal favorites, Nerdy Amber, The Walking Dead. Well, I'm going <laughs> <I'm, I'm> to <laughs> group them together. I'm going to group them together because um, I feel like each of them deserve their just due, but together it's just creamy amazingness. Mm-hmm. But I want to talk about The Walking Dead and Let's Game see. of Thrones, which is my three and four. Okay, okay, all the good series. Uh, the Walking Dead and The Game of Thrones. Man, pick your poison. <laughs> as far as heartache, you know, pick your poison. Prepare for some tears. Um, prepare to, you know, just lie on your couch in complete sorrow trying to grasp mentally what you just watched <laughs> on this screen like, at, at least with the walking dead you get a little bit of a like um a therapist session with the talking dead afterwards you know you can kind of yeah. talk through your emotions call a friend yeah. um you know definitely diffuse the tension of what just happened yeah. yeah detox it exactly or else you're gonna go through the rest of your week like i do with the game of thrones crying over hordor <laughs> Like, you don't. Like, they give you, you know what I mean? They give you five episodes, then you have a year to detox it. It's like, well, bitch, we give you 14 <laughs> months to detox. I don't understand. Right. Uh, we're I not going to compile some show for yeah. your feelings. George R. R. Martin, for one, doesn't give a fuck about your feelings. That's one thing you should know before you go into this, okay? Understand that you do not matter, and no one gives a fuck about how you feel. I don't know if anybody <laughs> has ever watched Attack on Titan, but Attack on Titan and Game of Thrones are similar into the fact that never like, throw out all logic when it comes to getting used to characters like if you like a character like the first episode like don't even care about these characters because you're good like like all of them are gonna die don't invest the first couple of yeah don't at all because and my problem that i had with both the walking dead and game of thrones like i was kind of like like i would watch an episode like the walking dead I watch an episode and then I would fade out and then I didn't know what was going on. And then there would be a point where a season would come up and everybody's so excited. And I was like, well, what is this? Let me watch it, you know. <laughs> Back and watch everything. The great thing about AMC is they will marathon The Walking Dead oh, like yeah. nobody's yeah. business. Like they would be like, oh, you want to see The Walking Dead? Well, we got every episode. <laughs> Fourth of July, Memorial Day, like every holiday over the summer, and w- whenever that shit is, every holiday, la- Labor Day, like let's spread some cheer. Siblings Day. It doesn't matter what fucking day they're gonna. Throw. They even have that shit in black and white. They'll do a complete right. rerun of that shit in black and white. They are trying to make their mark in society. I promise you, The Walking Dead has become an epidemic. For sure. But love, the thing I love about The Walking Dead that I hate about Game of Thrones is that The Walking Dead gives you an entire, like, half a year of experience. You only really miss The Walking Dead for four or five months. You know what I mean? And now they have Fear the Walking Dead, so you have something in between that. You're not waiting for what seems like, you know what? You're waiting an entire mother term. Mm-hmm. Like, you could get pregnant at the end of Game of Thrones. <laughs> you get pregnant, you know, and then... By the time it comes back on, you didn't have a baby. You're watching it with your baby, like, don't look, honey. Like, right. (laughs) Oh, she'll never know what he's sucking up. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, my God. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, like, we've even, we've infected a few people. We reached out to Don on um, Chemical X and got him into Game of Thrones. So we're infecting people. Um, It is infectious. And anyone who uh, gets caught in the web of that, which is the Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead, um, you're sure to never escape. And you'll be waiting and mourning just like us. With the, okay. Like, I was like, I'm never watching. I was so angry. 
be so mad. Like, I just hated everybody. And I was just like, well, when is everybody going to die? Because I hate all of these people. And then season, was it season six we just had? Mm-hmm. And I watched the first episode, and I had read an article that Jon Snow had died, right? You know, so I'm like, oh, he's supposed to be like this big thing. Like, my friend is in love with Jon Snow, so that's the only reason why I know who Jon Snow is. Kit Harington, huh? She's in love with him. And so I watched the first episode, and the next thing I know, it's the end of the season, and I'm like, oh my God, why did. <laughs> but I don't want to go back and watch up until this point because Man. they had me so mad. I just want to see the parts where everybody dies because I found out that a lot of them dies, although Cersei didn't die. But I see why she didn't die because she's 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 evilly brilliant, and I just hate her so much. And that's what's so brilliant about her. Oh, I love her. I love her evil ass. <laughs> like she was her tea, and you know, it was like World War War Two. Like they, she was just bomb Hiroshima, and she just sipping tea wildfire that wildfire don't don't play son man i jumped on let's see i think i jumped on in season three and then i was like okay wait 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 let me go back so i binge watched season one and i was like you got any more of them episodes i was like on can we get some more of these episodes and so man i binged watch all the way up and then i started watching it weekly in season three um and it was history from there i mean like right after that you have the red wedding and then yeah. shortly after that you have the purple wedding and then it's just mad other people dying that you like but george R. R. Martin doesn't care that you like them so <laughs> It's just devoid all feelings when it comes to the both of these shows, cause in The Walking Dead, I've been there since jump, like the first episode. I was right there. I was ready. It's a very good series. That Walking Dead is 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 a piece of magic. Um, well, we can talk about that all day. So let's go on to the last. All right. <laughs> Our last thing is, of course, brrr, Netflix oh. and chill. Netflix like, and chill. Oh, I be about Netflix, man. I, I watch Netflix so long it's asking me if I'm still watching Netflix. Right? Yes, Netflix, I'm still watching. Damn. Like, still watching Netflix. Like, just stay on. <laughs> yeah, like, I will turn you off when I'm done. Like, stop fucking like, with me while default. I'm watching my shows. Like, get a default. Like, get a screensaver. Like, if I... If yeah, you have, go into screensaver I'm, mode, you know, time out for a second. If I haven't moved, I'm either dead or I fell asleep. So... <laughs> <laughs> then you can turn yourself off Netflix. I might have just left the room for a second. I mean, yeah. just give me a minute. Give yeah. me a minute. Netflix. Calm your ovaries, Netflix. But, like, um, <laughs> <laughs> take you in the lead, you know what I'm saying, and lay your behind down. Thank you. But Thank you. um, no. But with Netflix and chill, there's a lot of great things on Netflix. You know, I don't uh, as far as anime. You know, um, the whole Marvel team has moved to Netflix. Uh-huh. And I think with Marvel comes the rest of the Disney universe as well. Since Disney owns Marvel, we're getting a lot of straight to DVD movies like Tarzan 2, uh, yes. Mulan 2. I mean, you can just straight wild out on Disney right now on Netflix. And I, and I really like that, you know, and then you got, of course, your shows like your family guys, your American dads, Cleveland show, you know, uh, how to get away with murder. Um, scandal though. So. They even have um, a lot of the earlier seasons of The Walking Dead on Netflix now. So um, that's another thing that you can binge watch with Bay if she hasn't seen The Walking Dead or if he hasn't seen The Walking Dead. Um, that's or one by thing. Yourself, if you're working or if you just, you know, and what's great about Netflix and chill, you know, or Netflix period is that you, if you, if you can play like background music, you know what I mean? Like you just put it on and it'll just roll. Mm hmm. And it'll go from episode to episode. You gotta be careful with that because if you're not paying attention, you'll be on the next episode and then you're like, damn, I don't even know what happened. True. You can't get lost. Don't fall asleep either if you're binge watching. It's the best binge watching apparatus out there. Do that. (laughs) But, um, no, but all these fan crazes are really, really cool. If you haven't gotten into any one of them, I don't know where you have been, why you have been. Or what you are going to continue doing. But you need to do something in these top five yeah, categories. Yeah, Netflix and chill. And they have mad Netflix originals. Yeah, they they're, really, they're really. They're coming do. up. Netflix original animes as well. So, I mean, yeah, Netflix is seven, like, pumping seven. out this content, bro. Awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's really bumping their game up. And I like the fact that they're starting to work with different studios and stuff to get a lot of 
more original product because they 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 pretty much know that that's where we're evolving to like we're evolving to online based everything like you're going to have all of your television on the internet you're going to get all your news on the internet you know the internet is pretty much canceling out everything <clears throat> so i think they realized that and they're moving towards that and i think that 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 was very smart <laughs> On, on Netflix and especially Hulu. getting with Disney and all that too they oh yeah like the brilliant biggest because Disney own everything so mm-hmm. they basically have, have the rights you know they have access to everything so I think it'll be good winning but anyway great top five crazes but, yeah <laughs> so what fan crazes are you guys into um drop them in the box below let me know I really want to hear about it make it rain um, in them comments bro oh, make hi. it rain blow let them blow let them blow let them blow I love me a good comment, and I do respond to my comments. So comment and let me know. Um, if there's anything that I forgot to talk about and you want me to talk about, let me know also. Make sure you like me, subscribe to me. <laughs> and follow her on the social media. follow me, yes. I am at Geeks Are Easy, and that's on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook now. Woo-hoo. Hey. And also follow Nerdy Amber at at Nerdy Amber with an I on Twitter. You can also find Nerdy Amber on YouTube and on Facebook as well, man. Yes, and check both of us out on the Chemical X YouTube channel. We are there with our boys Don Domenis and Kevin Space, and it's really awesome. We talk about a lot of really great things, guys, and we are hilarious. So you will see a lot of me and Amber. You will see a lot of Amber. Check Oh, nerdy amber check her out she's really awesome she's got some great great videos up right now you guys so check those out come back and see us until next time same geek time same geek youtube channel and we are out deuces <laughs> yeah yeah i said the light's so bright i'm feeling like the greatest blue and red pill chick welcome to the matrix said the cops outside looking like they about to raid it they could go all through my pockets i ain't got shit cause i need it Alrighty. <laughs> froze up no. <laughs> the, the tenseness is in the air i'm choking on the judgment like crunchy roll for anime. Get your snacks before you sit down. Yes. Very yeah. important. We should do another video, Netflix and chill rules. Or I'm Netflix not- and chill, do or do not. Yeah, so anyway, we'll, we'll come back to